Hey everyone, just wanted to show off the teardrop trailer that I just finished building today. Let me start with the frame. The majority of it is two by two by one eighth inch square tubing. A frame in the tongue up front. That's two by three by eighth inch steel tubing. Got an inch and seven eighths coupler up front, 2,000 pound curve ball jack. I will be getting a tongue box for the front, just not sure what size, shape I wanna go with. And then there'll be a five or 10 or 11 pound propane tank up front for my stove. Construction wise, I did three quarter inch walls then had insulation placed in there and both sides were then laminated with eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. Everything on this trailer except for that three quarter inch plywood that runs the length of the trailer wall is all Baltic birch. Kind of splurged there. I didn't need to, but I think it looks really, really pretty. So yeah, the exterior is Phylon. I floated it as Jay Poor suggests. I know there's a lot of contention on floating it or adhering it. I do have some dimpling going on in the front here. It's really hard to see, but that's just because of the way that I had put the trim on. I did one side and then did the other side and it buckled a little bit, but it's hardly noticeable. Got the biggest Challenger doors that I could get. Got those from Vintage Technologies. Got the Max fan from Vintage Technologies as well. Fifteen inch tires. Fenders I got are just a little bigger than I would have liked, but I think they look okay. Got the BAL scissor jacks. Got some bumpers that I just put on. Two inch receiver for my bike rack. Hundred twenty volt pass through for shore power. Eventually, I'm going to put in a another jack there for solar panels. I just need to get those ordered. Show you the cabin. My mattress should be here any day now. I took a lot of inspiration on the interior from a teardrop company called Escapod. They had a similar headboard style. It flips down like this. 36 inch LED bar light. I got those from superbrightleds.com. 12 volt power, voltmeter, USB ports. Switch here turns on the exterior lights on both sides. Like I said, the interior is all Baltic birch with three coats of water-based spar urethane helmsman. This fan is great. Super quiet on the low speeds, really powerful on the high speeds. His and her cabinets. I didn't end up doing a pass-through to the galley. I stole this idea from Escapod as well. You can use this lower cabinet door to kind of make a platform that you could rest a laptop on and watch TV if you're stuck in here on a rainy day or something. 
I really like these nylon marine style latches. Really easy to use. Really like them. Stainless steel hinges. Got a six inch deep underfloor storage. You can see all the half inch bolts here holding the trailer to the frame. Let's show off the, the fun part, the galley. Just like the front, LED bar light back here, 120 volt shore power, another USB, and I stole this idea from Northwest Teardrops where you have one of these 7 gallon Reliance water jugs those collapsible wash basins. Didn't want to do running water. I didn't want to have to deal with water pumps or having a sink take up counter space and just be too small to actually do a whole lot in. So this way water can live here. You can fill up water bottles and such. I ended up going with that retro laminate style for mica, really like the look of that. These are a uh, hundred pound struts. They're about 32 inches. Seem to work real well. Pull out cooler here. I went with the igloo, max cold. It says it has five days of ice retention, so I'm going to test that out before we hit the road and see how it actually does. Didn't want to deal with the Dometic fridge, which is too expensive. It's uh, nice to have maybe sometime in the future, but for now, I think the cooler should be fine. Three drawers in the middle. Over here, got a Eureka two burner stove. Had a lot of good reviews. Seems like it's built pretty well. And like I said earlier, that eventually will be plumbed to a five or 10 pound propane tank. Up on the tongue. And then down below, I still need to, I'm gonna do a little half circle here, handles. Down below I have another drawer and so I have short sides on it so that when the stove is out and you're actually cooking, you can still reach in here and grab whatever you need to. So yeah, that's the galley. Still need to do this trim up top. But I'm about 95% done. I'm at a comfortable point now where I don't feel a need to spend all weekend, every weekend working on the build. I know my girlfriend will appreciate that. So yeah, all in right now. I'm at about 6,500, maybe just a little bit more. I had to make a run to Home Depot this morning. That was another 70 bucks. It seems like every trip to Home Depot or Lowe's is at least 75 to 100 dollars and it just starts adding up after a while but still i modeled the exterior shape after timber leaf and their trailers started about i think twenty thousand dollars for this size which is a five by ten 
I'm six foot two and I have really broad shoulders, so a four by eight was just completely out of the question. Axle wise, I went with a 3,000 pound Dexter on leaf springs. The timbering would have been nice, but I just couldn't justify the five, six hundred dollar cost for that. The underside was painted with that fence post paint. Seems to be uh, holding up pretty well. I haven't really taken it out on the road yet, but looks good. And then I used POR 15 for the chassis, which is surprisingly really nice, really robust. Really like that product. I highly recommend it. Hurricane hinge. I used the one with the the offset. Did a water check the other day. No leaks. So that was pretty exciting. So if anybody has any questions, I'm going to be posting some photos to go along with the video as well. But if you have any questions or need any tips or tricks, let me know. This is my first build and I don't know, I think, I think the bugs bit me. I kind of want to build another one sometime in the future. It was really fun. It was a lot of work, but I started this build June 5th and now it's mid-August. So just a little over two months. But, yeah, thanks for watching.